An alternative to incarceration, new proposed legislation would create a program that would allow law enforcement to create drug treatment plans for offenders instead of sending them to jail. ABC 15's Madeline Montgomery is live to show us why the sheriff says this is a step in the right direction, but will take time to get it right. The bill's goal is to send less people here to jail and more people to drug addiction treatment that they need, but costs and logistics are still being worked out. A person having this on them or caught doing this can put them in jail, but experts say that won't put them on the road to sobriety. Taking people off of opioids and then trying to use abstinence based methods to keep them uh, stable about 90% of the time that fails. That's why Representative Russell Fry co-sponsored a bill that would allow law enforcement to create treatment alternatives with treatment facilities instead of sending people to jail. My guess 75, 80% of the people that are there relates back to a drug offense or an addiction offense. The treatment alternative isn't an option for all drug charges. There are certain cases that it would work with and certain cases that it wouldn't. Charges of drug use or possession could qualify for the program, but not drug manufacturing or trafficking charges. We wanted to know cost comparison between rehab and drug time. Sheriff Philip Thompson says housing an inmate for three months could cost around $5,000. According to addictioncenter.com, rehab for three months can be anywhere from $12,000 to $60,000. You're not going to rest your way out of it. So it's not all about how much it's going to cost, it's how effective the program's going to be. I know that sometimes um, people think that um, uh, fi finances are a barrier, but we do get um, state and federal funds that help for folks who are indigent or otherwise uninsured. The bill wouldn't require departments to do this treatment alternative. Live in Horry County, Madeline Montgomery, ABC 15 News. Right, the bill was referred to the House Judiciary Committee last Wednesday. We'll let you know what happened.